this video, I'm showing you the easiest way possible to install Windows 11 and VirtualBox inside your current operating system. So VirtualBox is a program that virtualizes different machines and operating system inside a current operating system. So in this case, we have Windows 11 and inside Windows 11, we have another Windows 11 installed using VirtualBox. So you maybe you can use this to run different tasks. So for example, you can run a task in Windows 11 in VirtualBox and do another task or another thing in your current operating system. So let's get started with this video without losing any more time. So first go ahead and download the ISO file of Windows 11. Go to description and you can find this link to download Windows 11. Scroll down and you have to go to download Windows 11 disk ISO for x64 devices. So here uh, select download uh, Windows 11 multi uh, edition ISO and click on download. Then this will check some things and you have to choose the language you want. I'll choose English United States and click on confirm then it will generate this button and you can click on download 64 bit and it will start to download windows 11 is about 5.2 gigabytes i'm going to cancel this download because i have already downloaded this iso file and now what i have to download is to go to a virtual box website you can find again the link on the description and you can you have to download the latest version of virtual box which is 7.0.6 and you can go ahead and download for windows is the windows host the mac os for Intel and also Mac OS for M1 or M2 chips and also for Linux and anything you want. So go ahead and click Windows if you are using a Windows computer like I'm using right now, which is Windows 11. So after downloading the virtual box, click on it and install it. So just click on it and in the exe installation and it will show you the, the window to go to install the virtual box, just click next and finish. Because I'm not doing this right now because I have already installed virtual box and I will open it right now. So Oracle virtual box and uh, here is the manager. After downloading the prerequisites that we need, make sure to have the in downloads folder, make sure to have Windows 11 ISO file. And then what I have to do here on the virtual box manager is to create a new virtual machine. So just click on create new and put the name uh, any name you want, I will choose Windows 11. And uh, here is the folder where you want to save your virtual machines. I will leave it the default. And here in ISO image, it's very easy now with a new update of the, of the virtual box. Just choose the ISO image that uh, we downloaded. So just click on this button and click on other, then go to downloads and click on uh, Windows 11 ISO file. So click on open, then it will automatically detect that it's, it's a Windows 11 ISO and it will choose the type and the version. And uh, then you have to make sure this is not selected because this will continue them manually, but we don't want this. We want to do this uh, automatically. So just uncheck this button and click on next. Then here you have to choose a username for your operating system. I'll choose my, my name and put a password then here it's okay you don't have to do anything else so just click on next and here you have to choose your base memory so depends on how much memory your computer current computer have i have 16 gigabytes of ram so i'll choose about 8 gigabytes of ram for this operating system this is okay and also in processors this is dependent on how many processors you have on your current computer so i have 12 uh, cpus so i'll choose about about four it's okay so four or five uh, then click on next and here you have to choose create virtual uh, hard disk now and choose how many gigabytes you want 80 gigabytes is okay for windows 11 so i'll leave it like this and click on next then click on finish as soon as you click finish it will automatically start the virtual machine and it will start the installation so here is the windows and you have to click any key press any key and then it will show this and it will start the setup section for your uh, operating system for Windows 11. As you can see, the setup is starting and I will make this full screen and here it will start to install Windows 11 in your virtual machine. Don't worry about anything because uh, any every installation you do is not going to impact your current computer, it's just going to install inside the virtual machine and is not going to have any impact in your current operating system and not edit anything. So. I'll wait uh, until this is finished and I will get back to the video.
Okay guys, now the installation is finished and as you can see it directly installed Windows 11 in my virtual box without doing anything else uh, more. So as you can see here we have Windows 11 and it works perfect. As you can see we can do search, we can do anything we want, it just it, it works perfectly just like in my Windows computer. So what I can do now is to make this full screen, you just go to view and enter the full screen and click on switch. As you can see guys here is the res resolution is not full screen is squared like this but if you want it to be full screen what you can do is to go to menu here in the devices and click on insert guest uh, additions CD image. As soon as you click here then you have to go to a uh, file explorer and you'll find this uh, CD drive uh, of the virtual guest additions and here what you have to do is to double click on VBox Windows additions double click on this and click on yes because we need to install this and click on next next install. Uh, this program is going to fix the resolution and the display of your virtual machine. After this is finished, as you can see now, it's going to restart our computer and then it will show you with a full screen and with a better resolution. Okay, now the Windows 11 just started and as you can see the resolution is a lot better and if I go to view and enter full screen and click on switch, as you can see now we have the full screen mode. I can close that window and it works perfectly just, my, just like my current Windows computer. So it's Windows 11 inside Windows 11. And if I want to get out the full screen, just scroll down here on the bottom and exit full screen. So as you can see, we got Windows 11 inside Windows 11 and you can do uh, something on your current computer and then you can also do something else on your uh, virtual box computer. So I can enter dark mode or light night light. You can do anything you want just like you do on your current Windows computer. So this was a video guys how to install. It's very easy, the easiest way possible to install Windows 11 inside Windows 11 or you can do this even if you are using Windows 10, Windows 8 or any Windows you want.